15 Most Famous Movie Props Number 15 this costume worn by Michael Keaton in the 1992 film of Batman Returns was actually on sale on eBay and sold for around $15,000. Many movie fans don't realize that they can own a piece of their own favorite movie. This one here actually had the Batman logo ripped off and the cape had disappeared. Number 14. It's not a real chocolate bar, but who wouldn't want a piece of history from this popular movie at the time? The Whipple Scrumptious Fudge Mellow Delight was on an auction for $16,503, but keep in mind it was made from a real Oompa Loompa. Props from the more recent film, but less legendary, were on sale too if you're looking to save a buck or two. 13. If you're looking to have a piece of art like this from a film, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. This prop from the childhood favorite hook is valued at over $18,000. It features Dustin Hoffman with his legendary mustache from Peter Pan, and is a nefarious evil antagonist during the film. Hopefully it wouldn't creep out your friends if they came over. Number 12. The movie Castaway, where Tom Hanks gets trapped on a deserted island and essentially loses his mind, is where this prop comes from. This isn't your ordinary volleyball. It's also Tom Hanks' best friend during the film, and managed to sell for a whopping $18,400 after the film came out. Wilson has made appearances and been the butt on many jokes on TV and other pop culture references. The person who bought it probably needs a friend too. Number 11. Although millennials have probably never heard of this movie, they've all seen Marilyn in the pose where she gets a gust of wind that blows up her dress, revealing her legs. In an auction in Los Angeles, this dress sold for astounding $4.6 million in 2011, and as a result, the person who owns it owns a piece of American culture. This is by far the most expensive costume that was sold. The costume is planned to be relocated to a museum in the near future. Number 10. Judy Garland wore these red shoes in the infamous Wizard of Oz. There are multiple pairs of these props, one which is currently being held in the Smithsonian Museum of American History. Another pair sold for $600,066 in an auction. The shoes were actually silver if you had read the book, but the director decided red would show up better while she was walking on the yellow brick road. Would this prop still be famous if the director decided to be more accurate with the book? Number 9. The red shoes weren't the most expensive prop ever sold from this movie. The Cowardly Lion costume sold at an auction in New York for $2 million. Would you have guessed that this costume weighs an astounding 60 pounds? Not including the heart, of course. People love Wizard of Oz and will do anything to try to get a piece of American classics. Number 8. Six DeLorean DMC cars, one being non-working replica, were used in the making of Back to the Future. A few are on display at the Universal Studios locations in Orlando, and one in Hollywood. These odd-looking cars were one of the first to have vertically rising doors. DeLorean stated that in 2017, they'll be selling 300 models that are expected to cost up to $100,000 a pop, but no news yet if they're complete with time travel capabilities. Number 7. A little more recent of a prop, this is actually a wand used by Harry, and it sold for $10,000. This doesn't seem like a whole lot considering the ones we already mentioned on the list. For a piece of wood that maybe cost $10 maximum, maybe the reason it was so expensive is because it had magical powers? Only the one who possesses it will know for sure. Number 6. This statuette of a Maltese Falcon, in a movie with the same name, is now selling one of its props in 2013. This Maltese Falcon statue in the 1941 movie was selling for $4.1 million in 2013. Somehow this became an extremely sought after piece of movie memorabilia. After 75 years, this is believed to be the correct prop, but the true one might still be out there. Let's hope this doesn't go down as one of the biggest ripoffs of all time. Number 5. This is basically the holy grail for all Star Wars fans. Being able to hold a real lightsaber that was held in the same hands as Mark Hamill would probably cause some nerds to never wash their hands again. This one here was used in Star Wars, A New Hope in 1977, and The Empire Strikes back in 1980. This device used a wooden pole where the blade then covered with a special projection paint to add the effects afterward. So the buyer isn't technically getting a deadly weapon, but it sold at an auction for $200,000. Number 4. While we're on the subject of Star Wars, can you imagine a pig like this the size of a pickup truck? Instead of just using digital effects like their most recent movies, this massive four-legged alien creature looks like something you wouldn't want to run into during a hunting trip. Seems kind of like a mix between a warthog, hippopotamus, and a rhino. Luckily, it's a movie prop that was featured in Star Wars. You might have to talk to George Lucas if you want to buy this. Number 3. Is it a bird? Or is it a plane? No, it's an overly expensive costume that sold for $115,000. This costume is featured in the Superman movie with Christopher Reeves and is also an iconic piece of American history. The cape and logo was included, unlike the Batman costume. If it made it on the big screen, no matter what the object is made of, the price will be inflated. Number 2. Ever wanted one of the most important Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory props? Well, you can't. It was already sold for $73,000. That doesn't even include the top hat. Gene Wilder's hat was sold for over $27,000. The unforgettable acting performance in this movie includes the purple jacket, frilled shirt, and this huge bow making it one of the most memorable props in movie history. Number 1. 
What better way to get the ladies than picking them up in James Bond's Aston Martin, driven by Sean Connery? This DB5 would be expensive even if it was not in a film, but after appearing in the 1964 Goldfinger and in the 1965 Thunderball, this sold for $12,000 in 1969. That was a lot of money at the time, but after a few decades go by, the James Bond films become more legendary, the car was sold again for a grand total of $4.1 million at an auction. 